sound like this or this. Uh, most people manage to excuse the occasional. We've not been looking so forward to this item. We're being honest. Um, by the way. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Him and I was taken, <laughs> I'm rather taken away by the <laughs> sound effects, Richard. This is not normal. It's this not is normal. not just because you're. Normal. Yeah, no, exactly. Thank you. Keep thank you. Going. Keep We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> now, um, what, as a barrister, a barrister took uh, on the CPS and tried to sue the CPS after a colleague mm. told him to stop breaking wind in their joint office. Now, the barrister in question lost his case, uh, but it does beg the question, well, one, why did he bring it? And two, is it ever OK mm. to trump at work? Well, Ishan Akbar believes, yes, it is OK to break window work. Yeah. If you have gas in your system, it needs to find a way out. Yeah. Whereas Richard Farley says it's antisocial and disgusting to ever find yourself in this position. Ishan, where do you work? And, you know, what is it like there with this spirit mm. of encouraging people to let rip? Well, look, I'm a comedian now, but I used to work in banking, I used to work in government, I used to work in the city. And so what I'm accustomed to is people blowing hot air out of their mouths. So why not just blow from another orifice? It doesn't make a difference, does it? Right. Well, is that, I mean, Richard, formerly, of course, of Dragon's Den, is that an argument? It's rubbish. I mean, uh, there's one thing that's going to unite, you know, going to unite the United Kingdom. It's it, we're standing against this whole idea. I mean, I used to work in a busy dealing room with lots of people, and, and there was a mysterious farter somewhere, and it was upsetting everybody. I mean, there was suspicion about who it was, conspiracy theory, accusations, denials, arguments, and eventually we found out there was a guy eating raw vegetables for his breakfast, and he, he'd come and work at, and fart, and his wife wasn't allowed, wasn't letting him do it at home, and it was only sort of peer pressure that stopped him. Uh, can you imagine if everybody does it? I mean, it'll just be... The whole place will smell like a But what sewer. should he have done, Richard? What should he have done? In that situation, it's got well, to come you know, out. The NHS, the NHS says change your diet, you know, drink more water, get more exercise. I mean, you know, the, the animal well, kingdom, they don't poo and, and eat in the same place. I mean, uh, you know, my, my cats don't do it. They, they say, I mean, maybe, maybe fish do, maybe yeah. or snails, fish or tank. maybe sloths. But, yeah. you know, most animals don't do it. And, you know, and it's just bad, bad for everybody. I mean, the only, imagine for business, just when we're, we're doing social distancing and and, and uh, face masks, then uh, all of a sudden we've got to do it again because people start fighting in the office. Mm. Uh, I mean, it is an interesting one. I do remember when the smoking ban came in. First of all, I believe, from my knowledge, it was, I think, New York, and then it was Dublin. And in Dublin, I remember the pubs, suddenly there was no smell of smoke. Suddenly there was an outcry about the proliferation of trumping mm. and what, what that was causing. And people, some people find it Hilarious. My husband, Derek, um, sadly, perhaps not so much at the moment, he revels in trumping. He's got names for different types of them. He's got... It's absolutely huge. And he comes from a long line of trumpers. In my family... <laughs> That's just From when humans. I was born, <laughs> it was sort of discouraged. Couldn't even say the word. Right, right. And I don't do it. No. Well, Am never. I asking for trouble? Is that the problem? Uh, you know, is my is my body going to be affected by this? Yeah, good question. Bad for you. Let's keep it in. Well, re regular flatulence is actually a sign of a good digestive system. So actually, it's better out than in. And really, I think that people should be announcing before they do it. They should put their hands up and say, "Look." It's coming, it's going to happen, and then the responsibility transfers over to the people in the office to say, I want to be here or I don't want to be here. I think it's a very natural, okay. normal phenomenon. We do it, on average, between 10 to 20 times a day. Okay. So whether someone's doing it publicly, everybody knows about it, it is happening around you all the time. If you've ever taken a flight, remember those things a couple of years ago? Yeah. People used to fly all over, the, all over the world. Do you know the first thing that happens as soon as you open the door is everyone's farts just <laughs> come right. straight out first before you uh, enter the well, country. Now you've given me I the mean, 10 look, to 20 look, times a day. A I'm gonna, once, once the pandemic's over, I'm just going to keep the mask. Are you? Yeah, you got to so. go. I mean, you got very involved in this at home. Uh, Lisa says, I think it's good to Trump. I work on a bowel ward in Devon, and we get really excited and have a round of applause when our patients Trump. That's funny. Uh, Deb says uh, oh, that <laughs> they have something called a farty Friday in work, yeah. where they positively encourage 
people to let rip. She works at a pharmacy and says sometimes it's loud enough to clear the shop. I just, mm. I just can't, I can't get my head around it. I don't know where <laughs> Deb works, but I can assure you, I'm never going to work there. Okay. It's a little inconsiderate, some might argue, but maybe, yeah. maybe in terms of your good health. We should all be doing more of it. Well, thank you to both of you for joining us, uh, to Richard and to Ishan as well. Uh, we, uh, no problem. You are both very entertaining. He's and... eating bees. And, of course, yeah. we'll, a lot of us will be tucking into Brussels sprouts <laughs> in a few days' time, so we'll all be experiencing Richard it. immediately put his mask on, even though it's a satellite connection. He's taking <laughs> no risks. Uh, thank you to both of you. Um,